Hi and welcome students. In today's Microsoft PowerPoint 2019 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply custom animation effects. Let's begin. So you'll see that I have a PowerPoint presentation slide displaying here. And on my last video, I went over transitions, which are basically the transition from one slide to the next. For example, like this. Animations are a little bit different because they are, in this context, not having anything to do with drawing or creating cartoons or anything like that, but animations in PowerPoint are how different objects within the slide either come into the slide, they emphasize the slide, or they exit the slide. So you have um, some different options for getting your content actually onto your slides or removing them from your slides while your presentation is playing. So I'm going to go over here to the content placeholder on the right right here, and I'm going to click the content placeholder, which is the dotted line around it, and then I'll go to the animations tab. And on the animations tab, I'll go to the advanced animation group and click add animation. When I click add animation, you'll see entrance effects, which again would be how this block appears on the page or comes onto the slide. Emphasis, which will give a like growing effect or pulsing effect to the uh, content already on the page. You could also see some of the other options here. And an exit effect, where that would be how the object is removed from the page. So does it disappear? Does it fade away? Those types of things. And then finally, down at the bottom, motion paths, which determine how and in what direction an object will move on the slide. So you have those as well at the, op at the bottom. Uh, below that you have uh, more effects as well. So just because you don't see something you want up here doesn't mean you can't find it down here at the very bottom as well. So up here at the top, let's start with entrance effects here and I'm going to go to fade and let's see how this um, will change this object on our page. So if I click fade, watch what happens. Notice each object fades onto the page one after another. So that's pretty cool. So now when I preview this slide, you'll see that that's how it appears. And I, you could preview any slide that you want in the animations tab, preview group. You just click on the little star that says preview. And you'll see how your animations are affected. Now, we could actually customize our animations even further. Uh, to do that, you click on the object that you want. I always click on the placeholder, but I guess technically you don't have to. Then you go to the animations tab advanced animation group and you choose animation painter on the right side as you click animation painter you will um, you will see that the animation painter should appear on the right side of the page i do, do not actually oh sorry i'm clicking the wrong thing i meant animation pane sorry about that animation pane and that will appear on the right side of the page and the animation pane as it appears on the right side of the page will open up and you'll see the pane and you can also click play selected and it will move through playing each one that's a way to view your preview as well so in the animation pane you'll see that i have one content placeholder selected but if i wanted to expand to see all seven actions which are occurring for each of the bullets i can click expand contents and you'll see one two three four five six and seven right there now these are all displaying uh, now and so i could click on the first one here let's say the one that says monday and you'll notice that monday is now active because it's in orange and it's the one right there number one Okay, and I could even customize each individual animation if I wanted to. So I click on that one, which is the first entrance effect. And then at the top right up here uh, of the animation pane, I could click play from, and it will play from that point. Okay. I could also do animations to other slides as well. So I want to show you an animation on slide five. Let's go to slide five. And on slide five, we have a smart art graphic right here. I'm going to click inside the smart art graphic and then click the placeholder to make sure that I don't have any individual content selected within the um, smart art graphic, but rather just the entire thing. So I click that placeholder. Okay. And again, the placeholder is the surrounding area around an object. And so I've selected the smart art graphic containing the photos and names. Now I'm going to go to the animations tab and I'm going to go to the advanced animation group and I'll click add animation and let's try fly in that might be a fun one we click fly in there we go it flew in from the bottom looks cool but let's say we don't want it to fly in from the bottom let's go here and we'll do animations tab 
Animation Group and click Effect Options. Under Effect Options, we can change where it flies in from for the direction, and we can also choose how it flies in. Right now it's flying in as one object. Let's check it out one by one. So I could click one by one. There we go. Looks good. And then the animation pane on the right side, I can hit this drop down arrow to view all of the individual content play, uh, contents within the um, content placeholder. There we go. And then as you can see, I could go to preview and it will show me those animations coming in. So I only really went over entrance effects here, but you could obviously do exit effects and uh, motion paths as well. So there's lots of different options and things to explore around in uh, when it comes to animations. But if you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to learn more about Microsoft PowerPoint 2019, I do have a playlist on my channel that goes over from very beginner through more advanced features within PowerPoint. So if you enjoyed this, again, uh, please come back and check out those playlists. If you have any additional questions, please put it in the comment box below and I'll do my best to respond to you and help you out. Thank you so much for watching today's video and have a great rest of your day.